welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. So today I'm going to be doing a really requested video. This is a Bad Girl Club Q&A. Not that I don't appreciate the Bad Girls Club, not that I don't love all of the Bad Girl fans. However, I want my YouTube channel to be more about my life, my current life, not about the Bad Girls Club. I do do an after show once a year, which is about the Bad Girls Club. And I love doing that. Uh, it's amazing. It's so much fun. Like, I love the other hosts and everything. However, that is, you know, during one of the se that's during like the season for Bad Girls Club. And then, other than that, I don't do anything related to the show. So, I want my YouTube channel to more be about like skincare and other things related to that, not just about the Bad Girls Club. Like, I love you guys and I love answering questions. However, when I open the floor for questions, I get a lot of bad girl related questions, which I want to like put that puppy to bed. So I want to answer all of your guys' questions so that I don't need to answer them again. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I come out with great content twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I want to continue to build my channel, Kristen Kelly TV. And I really want to interact with you guys on a more personal level and YouTube gives me that platform to do so. So I love you guys so much. Let's dive into the questions. So if you don't know me, my name is Kristen Kelly and I was on season five of the Bad Girls Club. It was shot in Miami. I was living in Boston at the time when I was recruited. I went to Miami and then I moved back to Los Angeles where I had lived previous before moving to Boston the year before. So I had gotten some questions through one of the bloggers and that blogger is bgc.loyalty on Instagram and he or she I believe it's a he was asking me a bunch of questions and I said you know what if you want to ask me these questions email them to me and I will look at them and I will do a YouTube video about them that was a few months ago I had kind of been putting off doing a bag roll video because I wanted to do other things with my channel however so many people you know were asking me questions about the bag girls club that I decided to do this so first of all he said hi Kristen I love you and would you ever do BGASB uh, so that's like bad girls all-stars I believe uh, so for bad girls all-stars would I do that yes in a, a heartbeat I would do that I love you know I, I love bad girls club and it's a paycheck and it's fun you know who doesn't want to do reality it's a fun thing to do were you asked to do bad girls club 13 so I was talked to by one of the people in casting they called me I had done like a little bit of a phone interview and then they called me and asked me some like follow-up questions I answered those follow-up questions and then I didn't uh, get chosen or call back or whatnot which was really disappointing and sad but I feel like any past bad girl has probably experienced this where they call you and then they talk to you and you get all excited and then it doesn't go through and it's like great um, do you still watch the show have you spoken to Morgan since season five ended so do I still watch bad girls club you know I actually didn't really watch bad girls club before my season I do however watch it now because of being doing the after show so because of the after show that I do for after buzz I do watch it uh, have I spoken to Morgan uh, you know I don't really speak to Morgan she actually moved to Los Angeles which I thought we were going to be friends and I thought we were going to hang out and then I ran into her twice you know I got her I gave her my phone number we didn't connect I think I invited her to my birthday party last year you know she didn't come so I really don't talk to Morgan you know if she had not moved here I would have said oh you know she's in Miami that's why we don't talk but no she lives in California we live in the very you know very similar area I have never hung out with her so I guess we never really were friends did you like the bad girl five mansion I loved the bad girl five mansion it was really beautiful it was really fun there were some things you know I wish that were different like they had lights that like wouldn't turn off and that was kind of awful like you know when you're trying to sleep and there's like lights that are like blaring your eyes uh, also we had cockroaches because a lot of the girls really weren't clean they uh, 
crew members didn't really clean our place. I don't know if, like, they have cleaners now because the show looks a lot nicer, like, their mansions. The mansion in general was fine. It had a pool, which, like, you know, who doesn't want a pool? Uh, did you think you have what it takes to win if you were to be called for Bad Girls All-Stars? B-G-A-S-B. I personally think you should put you and Leah both on the show. Uh, do I have what it takes to win? I think so. I think that I'm a lot more clever. I think I'm a lot more intelligent than most of these girls that are on the show. I feel like a lot of the bad girls are very ghetto. So, yeah, I definitely think that I would have the upper hand in the competition. I do think that I would win. Uh, and yeah, I think that would be so cool if they had put Leah and my, myself together. I think it'd be really cool if they had done like a, uh, like a villain hero type or an enemies type, something like that for a season. I think it would have been really cool. And yeah, I would like love to see Leah. I would love to be on a show with her. What was your biggest regret on the Bad Girls Clubhouse? That is actually a really good question. I think my biggest regret on the Bad Girls Clubhouse is that I was preoccupied with other things internally and I should have just been like enjoying the experience. I had an ex-boyfriend at the time who I was like really obsessed with in like a very like creepy way. I don't even know why. Uh, and we had broken up like years before that. And I had actually like, had a boyfriend right before I went bad girls and I like cut that off because I was like, I'm going to have fun, be a whore. But it ended up not being a whore at all. Um, but that boyfriend that I was like kind of like weirdly obsessed with, he's actually like married as a kid now. How, and it's weird because like I'm like, I look back at him and I'm like, ew, he's so gross. Like what the hell is wrong with me? But at the time I was like, thinking like I'm gonna move back to LA after this and I'm gonna do this and like I'm gonna be with him like just crazy shit so I'd like a journal and I'd like write down like it was just like very neurotic and weird and then also I had a crush on one of the crew members who was like short and gross and then like I hung out with him one time after the show was done like a few years later and he was like doing cocaine and was like a drug addict or something I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me so the whole show I was like preoccupied with like this crew member and also preoccupied like thinking about this ex when I should have been just like focusing on the moment and just having fun. So I regret not being more present like in the house. So I wish I had done that. Uh, you know, I regret some circumstances like I had gotten into a fight with Christina. I, rec I like regret that. Um, I also regret my hair choices. Like, my hair looked so awful. It was just, like, so bleached and disgusting and, like, falling out looking. And, like, I just looked like I had a mullet all the time because of my natural hair was, like, to here. And then I had, like, layers. And then I had extensions in. Like, it just, I don't know. Natural hair is just so much better, in my opinion. Uh, so I wish that I had not had extensions and looked crazy. I also wish I didn't get bangs at the end because my bangs looked, like, awful it just looked so disgusting and I hated them uh yeah I regret the two like the guy thing so yeah that is my biggest regrets uh would you do another big project with the oxygen or another network I would completely do something with another network I was supposed to have my own reality show uh with oxygen after I had filmed my season I had gone to like all these meetings and was doing the reel and all of this stuff and I was really excited about that and it was around, like, January, it was, like, around the first week of January, like, January 1st or 2nd or 3rd or something, that they had called me and told me, like, we're not doing your show anymore. And that was, like, really traumatizing. That was very, very traumatizing. I, like, had, like, an emotional breakdown after that. Um, so, yeah. So, that was a big deal. Would you do a season of The Real World if you could? I would totally be on a season of The Real World. Oh, my God. I would love that. Uh, I think that seems like such a fun show. I also think that seems like more fun because it's like they really just want you to party. I feel like bad girls, they want you to party, but they like made it too much about drama and fighting and like craziness. Why was so much stuff on season, oh, on season, okay. Why was so much stuff on the season trailer never shown on TV? Well, I think in general, a lot of stuff in a lot of different TV shows isn't shown that's on the trailer because they want to like grab you in and like be like oh this is happening blah like there was stuff on oh sorry getting a little more comfortable so there was stuff on my season that was on the trailer that was not shown that was like pretty crazy like we had one incident where this random random girl like tried to fight Erica something about like Erica was walking in the hallway 
and this girl had, I think she'd like maybe thrown something on Erica or said like, I have a knife. She said something about having a knife. That was it. Okay. So this girl like walked by Erica and then said something about having a knife or showed her a knife. There was some kind of knife involved, but I wasn't even there. I think Leah and myself were like talking to some guys outside. So then the police showed up and when the police showed up, Erica was talking to them and was like, she had a knife, something about this girl having a knife. And then the police started talking to me and I started like screaming at the police officer because the police officer had said something to insult me and I also was like really drunk. So I had, I was like fighting with the police officer, like screaming at him. And then on the trailer, they had showed Erica saying like, she had a knife. And then they showed the police officer screaming at me. So I think a lot of people had interpreted that as I had like pulled a knife on Erica and she had called the police where that wasn't the case. Uh, I'm trying to think of other incidences that were like on the trailers because I didn't know. I don't know if I really saw a lot of the trailers. Uh, you know, I think just in general, they just do that to like capture the audience. So if it seemed, you know, like there was this huge plot twist that happened, it probably, you know, did not happen, uh, as it seemed. And they were just using that just for a trailer just to like get views. Uh, yeah. Uh, what really happened during the Bad Girls Club beach fight with Kat and the Miami girl? So we were on the beach and this random girl and cat got into a fight and I actually ran up out of note out of like I like kind of had to dodge around some people and I hit someone and I also like took a shoe and like threw a shoe at somebody's like face. I'm not sure if either of those parts were even captured. I know that they did like catch me like running up on the girl uh, on the show but or that could have been in the trailer I'm not really sure it was so long ago. But yeah, Kat got into like a physical fight with some random girl and it was actually a pretty big fight because there was all of these people were surrounding us, like screaming that were like on the beach. And then the crew was like, we got to get the hell out of here. There was like a few fights. There was actually a fight with, or yeah, there was another thing that happened. Like Miami, the people in Miami like hated us. Um, I guess because Jersey Shore was filming at the same time. Actually, uh, Kay not Kayla, uh, not Kylie, what the hell is her name? Yeah, Kay Kayla, Casey. Oh my God, why can I not remember her name right now? Yeah, Kayla, right? That's her name, correct? I'm not like fucking this up. I don't know. Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. So Kaylee got into a fight inside of a restaurant, like a Baja Fresh kind of place when she was in line and it just this huge brawl broke out between some like random girl attacked her and then she was trying to like get back at the girl and security was dragging her out just this big craziness but they never showed that now it was actually a very intense fight uh because yeah she was just, like going wild at that point yeah like the people in miami like really didn't like us uh what happened in the club between you and erica i heard you beat her up bad and are you and leah cool now or are you cool with any of the other bad girls from your season? Um, am I cool? Okay. Uh, really, what happened between you and Erica? So we were like at a strip club, and I was like having a power trip, and I was insane. And Erica was sitting in my seat, and I was like, you need to get out of my seat. And she was like, no. And I like pulled the seat out and like hit her with the seat. Like I hit her with the chair. I mean, it was so stupid. Uh, I wouldn't say like I beat her bad or like beat her up, but I did like hit her with a chair and it was very crazy on my part. And I do regret that. I think that I was like having some kind of like power trip, like an insane person. Um, am I cool with Leah? I mean, I'm fine with Leah. Like I've talked to her dur like via social media, but I'm not, we're not like friends. Like I don't call Leah. I don't have her number. She's not my number. Uh, we don't hang out. I think she lives in Vegas. Like, you know, I follow her on Snapchat. Uh, we've, you know, tweeted a few times at each other. We, she almost came my birthday a few years ago. So we had, at that point, had each other's numbers. You know, it's like, I have nothing bad to say about Leah. Uh, I wish her all the best. You know, like, I have, n I have nothing bad to say about Leah. I think that she's a great girl. I wish her the best in everything. Uh, I would love to hang out with her at some point, you know, like I do miss her. I think she's, you know, like she said a lot of like really mean and insane things about me after the show was over, but I think that that's because she was hurt. 
I don't, you know, hold grudges. I'm not really that insecure or that, you know, stupid that I think that, you know, things that happened five years ago really matter anymore. What really happened in Jamaica with Kat's exit? Why did she really leave? And how did you find out not with the not was written by a producer? I think they meant, like, what was the note written by a producer? So that whole situation with Kat is something that I might talk about sometime in, like, the future if Kat has said it's okay. However, yes, it was not as it was shown on TV, and I think that everyone knows that her exit from the show was not chosen by herself. It was chosen by production, and no, I'm pretty sure she did not write that note. I also... There was a really crazy story that went with that, yes. However, I'm just not going to talk about it because, you know, I had actually given my word to one of the producers I wasn't going to talk about it. And Kat is my friend, even though, like, I don't see her really and I don't talk to her that much. I love Kat. Like, when she left the show, I was hysterically crying. Like, she really is an amazing person and I love her so much, even though, like, I don't see her. Is there any bad girl from the newest season that you talk to? So I don't think there's any bad girls from the newest season that I talk to. I have like spoken through Twitter to I think mostly all of the girls, but I haven't like really talked talk to them. Like I haven't spoken to them on the phone or anything like that. Uh, yeah, but I really liked the twins. I think they were amazing. I really liked Jayla. Uh, I did not like. Judy number two and just some of the other girls were just not like Lauren was not my cup of tea. I don't would not be friends with them like on a real basis. I actually think I would have gone crazy if they were in the house and I was in the house. They just seemed like really annoying personalities to me. But I did really like the twins and I did really like Jayla. So yeah. Uh, what really happened the night you were you fought Leah? Because there are a lot of theories about bad thing there but there are a lot of theories that bad things happened so when I left the bad girl's house I was drugged we went out that night and we went out in Key West and it was just a very hostile area Leah and I had gotten into a fight earlier in the night because there was a security guard who I really liked and Leah knew I really liked him and she had kind of like a habit of going after other people's like people they liked like she, uh, this girl, Ashley, that was a replacement. She was making out some guy and talking to him. And then she looked over and Leah was making out with him. So I think that Leah has maybe like low self-confidence. So if there was a guy that you like, your friend honestly should just be like, hey, he's like not the guy for you. You know, he was actually asking my number, blah, blah, blah. She came into it like very braggingly way. Like, oh, hey, he asked for my number and was like very braggy about it kind of in my face like ha 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 so I was like I gotta get away from her so I left and went with Christina and got super drunk like unbelievably drunk like couldn't stand was just a disaster and I had ran into this like very this random group of sailors we ran into like one of them actually put like a fake tattoo on my arm and uh, they, I was actually, like, my last episode, or that last episode, I was, like, disgusting looking. I looked so bloated and gross, and, like, I think I threw up, actually, during that night. I was just so drunk. And the sailor guy, at one point, had drugged me. He had put something into my drink, and I was, like, unable to, like, I couldn't tell, like, who was in front of me. One of the producers who was there the whole season was shaking my arms and like slapping me and was like Kristen Kristen and I was like who are you like I was just like in another world of like being drugged and then at one point one of the producers he grabbed my, that guy had grabbed my arm and left marks on my arm from him grabbing me so like insanely and one of the producers which they don't really get involved or no it wasn't like the directors maybe I don't know it was somebody uh, had grabbed me and was like, do you need me to get this guy away from you? And I was like, ah, like just in another world, like didn't know what was going on. And then they turned to that guy and I guess the guy had like ran away, like through an alley and he was barefoot. So like one of the producers was like, dude, you know, like this guy is just insane. Um, and I think that he drugged her. And then I think that they had ended up just realizing like I was not right. 
Uh, I was like in a different, like, I was like just in a very comatose, like weird state. I was fighting the crew. I thought the crew was kidnapping me at one point. I was like screaming, help me. And like, they're trying to get me into a van. And then they got me back to the house and I was just like so messed up. The, um, when the girls came back, I was just like not in a proper state of mind and Leah had said something and I was like why blah blah and then I had like hit her did some feeble attempt to hit her and then like she hit me back like it was just so stupid but then you know they took me to the hospital and I had to get like a a CAT scan I also had to get blood tests I they had to give me medicine like I really was just really messed up from that guy drugging me And then the other girls kind of took it as that I had, I don't know like what's wrong with them because the other girls were there. They saw the state that I was in, but they kind of made it like that it didn't happen. So that was one of the reasons that I kind of am not friends with the girls from my season is because I think that for the most part, they're just liars. So, I mean, yeah. Uh... What do you think of the Bad Girl cast for, or the Bad Girls 14 cast? Who's your preseason favorite? Because I think this was like maybe written before. Uh, I really liked the twins, like I had said earlier. What, what has your life been after Bad Girls Club? And has it benefited you? So my life has been great. Uh, you know, acting wise, I don't think it's really benefited me. Like I don't even have it on my resume. I actually did a casting director workshop and the casting director was like, oh my God, I totally recognize you. You had those like crazy extensions. You were like drunk all the time. Like you're Kristen from the Bad Girls Club. And I was like, yeah. So I don't mention to people that I was on the Bad Girls Club. It's not really something that I want to mention to a lot of people. Uh, Has it benefited me? Yeah, because, you know, it gave me enough money doing appearances, gave me enough money to get back out here and pursue acting. So yeah, it's definitely done in that way. What was your favorite part about being on the show? So my favorite part about being on the Bad Girls Club show, wow, what was my favorite part? I don't know, you know, it's like, it was an amazing life experience. It really was. I don't think that there was like one favorite part. There was a lot of parts, you know, like getting ready with the girls and interacting with everybody and it just being so much fun and you know, like the spirit of it all going on. And yeah, I just, there was a lot of really fun, great stuff. Will you be on After Buzz TV with Alicia reviewing Bad Girls Club 14? So Alicia was not, she's moved. She like moved uh, back to Chicago uh, to be more like around her parents and do stuff around there. So no, uh, she was not on this season. I don't think she's going to do After Buzz anymore unless, you know, she moved back out here, but I don't think she's going to. Will I continue doing After Buzz? Yes. I really love it. You know, I'll do it as long as they want me to. Will you watch Bad Girl 14? But let's say it's 15. Uh, yeah, I'm totally going to watch 15. I will totally be watching the seasons. As long as I'm doing After Buzz. If I'm not doing After Buzz, I don't really think so. Do you have contact with Kat? I don't really have contact with Kat because she doesn't really live here. We talk through social media. But definitely, like, I love her. Okay, this is the last question. And this is from Bad Girl Club Loyalty. Was there ever a time you wish you never did Bad Girls Club? Whose idea was it to come back and destroy the house with Morgan? So was there ever a time I wish I didn't do it? No, I've never wished I didn't do it. I think that it was a great experience. I loved it. Would I do a different spinoff show? Of course. It's a fun experience. Uh, It was my idea to do that, but I had messaged like a producer and the producer had got Morgan and myself to the house and done that. How much did they pay you guys? You know, I can't really talk about that, about how much they paid us, because I was, like, in the contract. But I will just say it was over 400 and it was under 1000 per week. And we got paid that every week. However, the new girls, I'm not sure how much they get paid. And I know that for the All-Stars, they got paid, like, more than 2000 per week but they had to pay for things such as like going to the nightclubs they had to pay for that which would be about around like 1500 each so that's why like a lot of them didn't go to clubs on their season how much did they uh, and what do you think is the biggest difference between the bad girl club season then and now okay bad girl club season then I would have to say we had different producers so it was a totally different feel we had Brandon and Jeff and I love them I feel like they really cared about us I feel like 
you know, there was one point where I was going to leave and I was like, I'm not going to do this. And then they, you know, they really talked to me like people. I feel like they really looked at us as people and not as these, you know, comical characters for a reality show. Just from me watching the show now, I feel like the producers really don't care that much about the girls. I don't feel like they have the same interests. I feel like they want them to look like fools and I don't think that they really care that much about the girls. By the way, I love you and thank you for this opportunity, Bad Girl Club Loyalty. Thank you so much, Bad Girl Club Loyalty, for your questions. I hope that answered a lot of them. So I also did Twitter questions. So I tweeted you guys and I said, hey, you know, I'm going to do this epic Bad Girl Club video. I want all of your questions now because it's probably just going to be my last videos. And I might put this into two videos if it's too long. Thank <music> you.